Okay, thank you, Chris. The many classic cars and Hot Wheels rolling through Flint this weekend are expected to attract massive crowds. And as TV5's Raven Blue reports, the hobby isn't just a boys club. The 18th annual Back to the Bricks has taken over downtown Flint. Thousands of car enthusiasts hit the brakes for cruising and concert night. And while you will definitely see a variety of cars, you will also see a new group of classic car owners. The world is changing a lot, and so yeah, it's not it, 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 not everything is just a guy thing. Women can be involved and, and work on the cars themselves and know how to take care of things if there's any issues. That's right, more and more women are getting behind the wheels of some of the rarest and iconic classic hot rods at the festival. There's a simplicity sometimes to them where it's really about the driving experience, especially cars becoming so automated now. So don't be surprised when you hit the brakes and see the muscle car of your dreams and you find out it belongs to a woman. Sometimes it's nice to be involved and feel connected to what you're doing. It's just more engaging to have a car that's fun and interesting and old. While female vintage car owners remain a distinct minority, a recent survey by Haggerty, the world's largest insurer of collector cars and specialty vehicles, found that its number of female policyholders grew roughly 30% from 2010 to 2020. I do happen to see a lot, a lot more women, I think, driving the cars without the men being around. The Back to the Bricks opening ceremony will start at 10 a.m. on Saginaw Street with a salute to veterans and active duty personnel in downtown Flint. Raven Blue, WNEM TV5.